Hello lovely people, welcome to the Geek Cupboard, I am Penge and welcome back to Sheltered where we pick things up once again with the Cupboard family down here in their lovely little bunker out in the waste but last time we were joined by somebody else so of course we all got the chance to say hi to Steve. So there's Steve there, if you didn't say hi to Steve last time you must say hi to Steve now. So there you go, there is Steve, hi Steve. So Steve has joined us, he's okay is Steve. He doesn't have the best stats. He doesn't have the worst stats. He's just sort of all right. He's just kind of, you know, average and like Steve. So there he is, currently doing a little bit of repair work. We've got ourselves, who's up on the surface there? We've got T, who's just been fixing some of the filters and such like. And then we have Betty, who I believe I've just sent down to go and read a book or two just to get her skills up a little bit, which is splendid. So there we go. So these three are keeping busy, which is wonderful. And we have sent Bernard and Cake out on an adventure into the waste. And it looks like they have already arrived at a place. So let's see what what they've got. Um, they've got a school out in the wasteland. Should we check it out? I think this is a bit weird. Yes, absolutely. Search the location. Yes, please. Go and find all the things. We need lots and lots of stuff. So yeah, those two have gone out and they can carry a heck of a lot of stuff, which is wonderful news for us. So hopefully they can bring back quite a lot of nice materials. Now, what we are ideally trying to build is this just here. Because I think this makeshift recycler is going to be really, really useful. We have quite a lot of stuff in our storage that we could do with recycling. If we look, we've got ourselves. What have we got? Where is it? We've got five broken radios. We've got one burnt out laptop and one broken TV. So already we can take care of those. But also because we're going through fuel, because we pour it into the generator, we have ourselves 16 empty petrol cans, which could be recycled into plastic which would be wonderful indeed. So that's quite a lot of plastic. We just need that initial boost of plastic to get that recycling thing kind of constructed because yeah, what do we need? We need another six plastic and then we need some pipes and we need some valves. Okay, yeah, we really do need more valves. We're kind of looking okay for plastic. We kind of find that around and about, but valves seem to be quite rare. So yeah, we need four more valves. Okay, that's fun. Well, let's see if our sort of exploring people can go and get that sorted. So they're, they're out there. They're looking for valves, hopefully. Um, yeah, last time... We did manage to get this um, the bookcase completed, which is lovely. So we got the bookcase in, so now the adults can go and have a little read of a book. And of course, yeah, so now the adults can go and de-stress by, you know, looking through some literature. And the kids can now go and look in the toy box. And there's two toys in there as well, which is lovely. So there we go. And, uh, and yeah, we welcomed Steve. Now here we go. Uh, Steve, you pop over there. And can you repair that? I oh, know that's an integrity of 100%. The stove needs a bit of uh, stove needs a bit of TLC there, Steve. You go and sort the stove out, and then I think T has just come in. So T, you return your suit. Uh, if you're coming in, where are you? There you are. So you pop in, you return your suit, and then once you've been outside in the wasteland repairing filters and things, now you can have the, the lovely treat of mopping up the shelter. <laughs> Lucky you, because I noticed there is a little bit of sort of a grot around the place. And Betty has just earned some XP, which is wonderful. Where are you off, Betty? Uh, oh, you've leveled up. Oh, and you're nipping to the loo. Okay, well, I'll leave it to that, Betty. Uh, the school, okay. What's in the school? Uh, we'll take all of those things because we might as well. We'll just take all of the things. We'll just grab everything. Um, I notice again, another mannequin leg and a mannequin arm. <laughs> what's, what's going on here? Why are there so many mannequin parts around? I'm a little bit concerned that there's some sort of crazy person out there leaving mannequin parts all around the place. What's happening there? I don't know what's happening. Okay, well, there we go. Right, so there's lots of mannequin bits around the place. I mean, again, if we bring them back, if we, if we have to get them back with us, then um, hmm, we can recycle them, which could be quite handy. But yeah, these are the things that we're probably going to leave behind if we have more interesting options to bring back to us. So yeah, leave the mannequin legs, probably leave the limestone, maybe leave the cement as well. Um, yeah, we'll take the magnesium. We've seen quite a bit of that recently. We've not been able to do anything with it. So yeah, we'll take some magnesium and um, and yeah, okay, there you go. So we'll have all of those items right now because we might as well. Um, Steve could do with a little bit of a rest. So Steve, fix the bed and then sleep in the bed. So have, have a little repair of the bed and then sleep in it, knowing you know, all too well that you have repaired this and it's very sturdy and lovely. And then T, could you have a shower? In fact, no, first things first, go to the loo and then have a shower because I was going to say because it's raining and that would be really good. It stopped raining, but you still need to do those things and I'm sure everything will all be fine. Uh, food is looking okay. Fuel is looking okay. Do we need to restock the generator? Oh, we could do. We could do. Betty, go and just add some fuel, please. Absolutely wonderful. And then what can Betty do? What's the uh, what's the integrity of everything looking like? Well, the freezer. 
the freezer and the sleeping bag could do with a little bit of TLC. So go and repair that. So add some fuel and repair the freezer. Okay, she is repairing the freezer. And then after you've done that, go and fix the sleeping bag as well. And then do we want to build another bit to our base? I think we've got all the materials for it. Uh, yep, small house, absolutely. Now, a few people in the comments have said, yes, we keep sending people out and that's wonderful. We keep sending people out into the world to go exploring and find all lots of new things. But people have said, why not go back to the same places again where you know the stuff you need and that's a good point so we're sort of doing that now because we've obviously been here before so we're stopping off at this house where there's food rations and records and petrol cans and things really we want to go somewhere where there is plastic that would be the best thing we could find because we really do need that so yeah it looks like we're not going to get any plastic on this particular trip where was plastic is there a place we can find that had a load of plastic lying around? The police station had all sorts of, sort of weapon stuff in it, didn't it? Uh, petrol station's obviously got the petrol in it. That's got that's all right. A factory. A factory. That doesn't seem to have... That's not got plastic in it either. Where on earth did we find some plastic? In a school? No. We must have come across some before. Uh, there's a small farm there, which doesn't have plastic in it. Uh, that's a reservoir. That's obviously just got water and stuff in it. It's a petrol can. Where on earth did we find plastic before? There must be some plastic somewhere around the place because we have picked some up. I can't seem to see plastic on any of these places at all. So I don't know how we've found any or if we have got plastic from these places before, then that's all the plastic they had. So we've taken it away. So yeah, I don't know. I don't know where we're going to get plastic from. Hopefully they'll just find bits and bobs as they go around. We could next time maybe have a little trip down here. There's a couple of locations there and one there. Maybe we could come down here, go to that unknown one, that unknown one, that one in the woods and that one on the edge there. That would kind of cover those four off. That might be quite nice just to get those done. Because, yeah, we've got lots of this West Bank area done, except those two just there. So it'd be quite nice to, you know, cover those two unknown locations as well. Ah, a small scrapyard is out there. Oh, maybe that's worth a trip. Oh, definitely. Okay, yeah, we're going to go to the scrapyard at some point, everybody. Why didn't we go there before? Have, I, have we only just sort of noticed that? It's kind of lit up on our map, but we've not been there before. Maybe when we went to this church, we were able to then see the scrapyard nearby because it's near enough. Oh yeah, that's going to be really good. Okay, right. We'll make sure we go there at some point. But right now, lots of fixing and stuff is going on. Um, Betty. Betty, Betty, Betty. Do we want to add... Uh, go to craft item. Do we want to add another bit of the, of the bunker? Joe, no. No, we've got the cement. That's fine. We've got wood. That's okay. But it's going to use up two of our six metal. We don't have a lot of metal left. So I'll kind of keep that. I would like to keep that. Um, we have an incinerator. We can't build that right now because we need valves. Is there anything we really need to build? I mean, water butts are really, really useful. And a few people have pointed out in the comments as well that when people come by, we should trade water first because water gets topped up by the rain, of course. So, um, so yeah, that's like a nice sort of... It's not free because obviously at some points we can run out of water. But, you know, it's a, a, sort of a commodity that replenishes itself without us really having to do anything. So it might be worth at some point trying to get some more water butts in to store some more water. But, um, but yeah, really, we just want this. We need pipes and valves and plastic. Okay, right. Let's see how the uh, sort of exploration team get on. And how are we looking for repairing everything? It's looking wonderful. Okay, Betty, I mean, go and repair the toilet, I suppose, just to give you something to do. And what have you done? A small house. What is in there? <gasps> ah -ha -ha! So yeah, last time we got the lockpick constructed and we found a lockbox which you were able to open using the lockpick set. The following items were discovered. Two bits of soap, useful for obviously cleanliness, but also for trade, that's quite good. And uh, a gas mask, always handy. And two rations of food as well. Oh, that's wonderful. Okay, yeah, absolutely. We'll take those things. Um, fuel, we'll have that. We'll have coffee beans, we'll have duct tape, woo! We'll have some paint because we can always repaint the bit of the base. Uh, we'll take the sand, we'll take the leather, we'll take a motor. We'll take two mannequin heads for now. Again, we can just drop things off at our next location that we don't need. And things that I'm thinking that we're not particularly bothered about, mannequin parts. Um, I mean, we've got some coffee beans with us, I think. So we don't necessarily need loads of those. Get rid of the coal and all this kind of stuff. So that'll do for now. Yes, absolutely. But yeah, that might change. We might get rid of a massive load of those items at some point in the future. But okay, right, you go and have a sleep. Uh, yeah, florist, go and look in the florist. I wonder what we'll find there. <laughs> Maybe some sort of flowers, perhaps? 
Oh, okay. It's not what I expected to find in a florist, but we'll take quite a lot of this stuff. So, well, okay. Duct tape, useful. Uh, soap, useful. Not so bothered about water. Okay, now here we go. There are things that we want here that are better than some of the things that we're holding. So, coal, not bothered. A sander, we've already got one of those. So I don't think we need another sander. I don't think having multiples of the tools actually helps at all. So we'll put that away. Um, we'll get rid of a mannequin leg for now. Um, and let's grab ourselves. We'll grab a pipe because they're always useful. We'll grab some wiring. We will grab a circuit breaker. Have we got any more room? No. I mean, I wouldn't mind the spring just because yeah, they seem to be quite useful things. Um, let's get rid of uh, sand. Let's get rid of two lots of sand and we'll pick up a spring. Okay, so there we go. So, I mean, yeah, it's a weird florist that sells no flowers. I, you know, I, the flowers would all be dead, wouldn't they? Of course they would. There's been a great big nuclear apocalypse and nobody's been looking after the flowers. They will all be dead. It's a little bit weird what a florist was doing with all those other things. But, you know, never mind. It's probably people like us that are coming by, picking up some items, dropping some items off. And that's why the florist has got loads of weird things in it. But there we go. Okay, we'll take those items. Do we want to take the glass jar? We need plastic, really. We need to find a place that's got plastic. Okay, yeah, we'll do with those items for now and we'll see where they're going to go next. I don't imagine it's going to take that long. And is it worth... Oh, no, we haven't got another backpack. I was going to say we could send those two out. We could send Betty and Stephen out. Um, something of interest. A person in need. Okay. Should we see if we can help them? Okay, approach but carefully, Bernard. Approach but carefully at the small pharmacy because this might be a trap. Okay, Hello. You seem to be doing pretty well for yourself. I wish I'd been that well prepared. I can't even rustle up 10 springs. I bet you can't even remember what that was like. <laughs> oh dear. Okay, yeah. Long are the hours. I remember that time I had 10 springs. <laughs> you know, anything to do to pass the time in an apocalypse. Um, okay. Refuse or promise? What, you want me to bring you 10 springs? No, I'm, no. I need the springs for myself. I'm very sorry. Right, I'm going to say no. Please don't attack me. I have got a hatchet. And I've got a, a, an angry child there with a big pipe. So, uh, yeah, refuse that. I remember, I worked hard to get here and charity didn't figure into it. That's cake saying that. Very profound sort of words for a child there. Right, playing that game, hey? I'll get what I want, one way or another. Oh, I thought he was going to fight us. But no, he's not fighting us. Um, yeah, so Stephen is looking ready to go out and have a wander about. Um, however, Betty is looking like she needs a bit of a wash and possibly a bit of a rest as well. Uh, okay, so Betty, have a sleep. Then have a shower. So you do those things. Um, Stephen, repair the shower whilst you're there. You, yes, go to a small pharmacy. What is there? Plastic. Okay, right. Let's get rid of some stuff. Let's get rid of limestone. Pick up plastic. But then they've got anti-rad tablets. That's useful. And a bit of metal as well. And some paint. Okay, we'll take the paint. Um, sorry, coffee beans. Away with you. Anti-radiation tablets, probably way more useful. And then leather, we can get our own leather, but it is useful for making those bags. It is useful for making like the travel bag things so they can carry more things around the place. Uh, okay, mannequin arm. Farewell, mannequin arm. We will have metal. And adrenaline, not so bothered. I wouldn't mind a first aid kit. I wouldn't mind another first aid kit, but there's, I mean, what do we want to get rid of? What do we want to get rid of? Mannequin heads. Bye bye, mannequin heads. In in preference of a first aid kit. So yeah, I think that's probably <laughs> that's probably the best way round to do things. Uh, okay, yeah, absolutely. So yeah, we're leaving behind some fairly rubbishy things. Uh, confirm that. Yes. How are they looking on their um on their little trip? Whereabouts are they? They're only just there at that pharmacy. So they've got quite a lot of other locations to go to, and they've already filled up what their sort of capacity is. Okay. Fine, that's all good. Yes, yes, yes. Go to the next thing. A school. Go and look inside the school. Absolutely. Oh, Bernard and Cake have found some body in the school. So hopefully they'll go and find some stuff as well. But there is a person. They are signalling to us. I think they want to talk to us. What do you want us to do? Again, go and get involved. But be very wary because these things are often traps. So let's see how we get on. So a school. Now, if they're good, if we can tell that they're a good person, wouldn't mind recruiting them. Uh, hey, Douglas. Hey there. Hold up. Um... Do we take Bernard to the to the fore, or do we let Cake do the negotiations? Uh, no, Bernard, 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 Bernard. Your 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 dad. You can lead. So yeah, absolutely confirm there. Can I help you with something? I can't say too long, but maybe we can strike a trade deal before I go. Um, yeah, okay. And ah, now a bit of wood. We'll absolutely have that. And fuel. We'll take a bit of fuel. So you want sixteen? What can we give you to the value of sixteen? I mean, the book. 
it's a value of 25 so we are going to be wasting quite a little bit cement i guess we could get rid of not so bothered about that rubber is useful for making the um the gas masks so yes we keep finding some but at some point we might need to craft our own um okay hang, how much we've got how much uh, petrol do we have oh, i just told me the trade value i don't know how much we've got back at base i do not know uh okay so we need to get something to the value of 16 and i don't know what to actually give this person i mean i'm tempted to just give them a book a bit of wood bit of petrol canister we've already got four books anyway i think so um so yeah let's go through a book let's just give them the book it's a bit of a naff sort of trade deal but that's absolutely fine we can find more books there's like libraries and schools and things around so yeah okay we'll do that we'll have a bit of wood and some fuel for one slightly tatty looking book absolutely yes please we will trade good trading my friend i'll keep a lookout for useful items on my travels i look forward to our next encounter. Okie dokie Douglas, we will see you again soon, and Bernard's charisma has gone up to five, which is wonderful news. And now we can see what they've actually got from the school. Oh, there's many, many good things. A chisel. That's one of the tools that we need. We want to take the chisel. Absolutely, we want that. Uh, okay, right. Metal, yes. Three bits of wood, yes. Soap, yes. Okay, paint, yes, because we've got some of those anyway, so we're just you know, carrying multiple of the same thing. That's all good. Uh, yeah, we want to take a chisel. That's going to be really, really handy. However, what do we sacrifice? What do we get rid of? What do we not take with us instead? Oh, there's so many things. Oh, no, we've got a space. Oh, good. Right. We'll take a chisel. That's good news. Um, a bag. I think we've already got enough bags. I think we've already got enough carrier bags. That should be fine. Not bothered about some men. We've got 13 circuit boards. The old TV would be useful, but we can't do anything with it right now. Circuit breakers, we've got 10 of those. Battery, empty petrol canister. Do you know what? All those things, there's a lot there. I mean, the battery, I suppose, could be useful, but there's nothing that I want to get rid of, really. I suppose the burnt-out laptop, I guess, for a battery, because we can't recycle these things yet. So, yeah, okay, do that. We'll take a battery, because that could be always quite useful. So, there we go. Um... Yeah, okay, that'll do. That's a good deal. We don't need anything else, do we, particularly? No, I mean, they're, they're going to come in useful eventually, these lens things, for uh, the fancier sort of gear that we can make later on, you know, the fancy sort of crafting tables and stuff. But right now, no, nah, that'll do. Okay, confirm that. There we go. Uh, right, what's everyone up to again? I've completely forgone. Right, Stephen's kind of ready to go out, and yeah, Betty just needs to have a bit of a shower and then something to eat, and then Betty could also go out. But we, we won't be able to sort of hold any of the um, sort of bags of, you know, extra sort of carrying capacity stuff because they're out with our sort of exploration team now. Yep, go and have a look around. Um, Stephen, 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 Stephen. Can we make anything? An extra little carrying bag or something? Is there something here? Um, that's a bedroll. Not so bothered. I don't want to... Uh, I don't want to actually make a carrier bag because that is going to use up some of our plastic. And where is the satchel thing in Bob just there? The rucksack is... Yeah, we haven't got enough nylon or leather, so we can't do that at all. That is very unfortunate. I mean, we could just send them out. We could just send them out on a fun trip out and they can just carry slightly less stuff. Maybe we'll send them to slightly less locations, possibly. Um, okay, there you go. So Betty is then uh, having a shower. So then, Betty, I want you to go and get something to eat. Um, I don't know, whatever, that'll do. Eat some food. In fact, no, cancel that, cancel that. Eat the, uh, eat some meat. Eat some meat from the fridge there. Eat some meat, please, Betty, when you're done. And then, yeah, you can go out and have a wander about with Stephen. Okay, what have they found in the house? And we found, using our wonderful lockpick set again, a gun and some soap. <laughs> There's an awful lot of soap around. We've got so much soap. Uh, we'll have the metal. Um... That'll do. We've already got a couple of guns anyway. We've already got some firearms, so that will do the job. 15 transistors, not bothered about coal. We've already got two toys. There's two toys and there are two kids, so that's fine. I don't know if they eventually sort of fall apart and we need to replace them. And the same with the books. I don't know if we sort of go through the books and use them up as we read them. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, that'll do. Yes, absolutely. Uh, now, we've still got four books and we've still got two toys. Um tea i would not recommend having a drink right now um go and get a toy go and have a little play with the toy bumped into somebody else yeah okay let's see if they're good we might try and recruit them but i don't think we can see their stats can we hello how are you ah hello not seen many others out recently um no we'll be bernard again absolutely get bernard there hi not surprising is it you know given the fact that you know society has collapsed and the world's pretty much over i've got plenty of gear if you want to trade that is not plenty of gear. You are a liar. <laughs> you are a big fibber. Um, we'll take a bit of food. 
we'll take a bit of food. Now, a few people have said, they've said there's a little bit of a kind of, it's it's not a it's not a cheat as such, it's just a, a way of uh, a fudge, I suppose. So if we trade a bit of food for a bit of food, we're just trading exactly the same stuff. So we're not getting anything extra. We give them a tin of soup and they give us a tin of beans or something. I don't know. But, um, but it means that we do commit a trade, which means that the uh, we get XP for it. We get a little boost to our stats and stuff. So that would make sense. So, I mean, we could... We could do with extra food, but that's fine. That's fine. And we don't want to take the laptop. We got rid of our other laptop, didn't we? So we haven't got space for it. So we'll just do that. We'll just do that and have a bit of trade there. That's absolutely fine. We'll just do a trade. Yes, absolutely. You've near enough wiped me out, pal. Are you sure? I, I gave you a tin of soup and you gave me a tin of beans, whatever it was. Um, I'm going to have to go scavenging for more stuff now. Let's hope I don't bump into any unsavory characters. And there you go. So even though we got nothing out of it, Bernard's charisma has gone up. So, yeah, we traded a tin for a tin, and that was a good thing, apparently. So, there you go. Thank you, comment section. I would never have really thought to do that. So, that was all from the comments, which is wonderful. Right, Stephen's ready. Betty just needs to eat something. She's waiting to uh, climb up the ladder there. And then, as soon as she's eaten something, those two can head out. We've got enough gas masks, I believe. Uh, have we got enough masks? Yeah, got four of them. We've got plenty of storage. Got so much storage going on. So, um, so here we go. Yeah, Betty will just sort of... Uh, Give the uh, that meat you got. Just cook that up a little bit. Fry it in some oil or something. Or I don't know what they do. I don't know what they do with it. But yeah, they cook the meat. Uh, a small house. Yes, please. And that means that Betty and Stephen can then go out. So she's got the meat. Then she's presumably prepared the meat. Now she's eating the meat. Water storage is at max. It's also a bit polluty. It's 18% contaminated. We could do with the terrible rain stopping. Oh, no, 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 no. It's tea. Tea, stop. I think tea's having a drink. This could be bad. T could have just poisoned herself there. That is unfortunate. Uh, they found stuff at the small house. More food, more soap. <laughs> We're going to be so clean. We're going to be very, very clean. Okay, we'll take that. We'll take a paint can. Um, we've got a motor already. Yeah, we'll take a motor. <gasps> a nail. A nail. Right, we'll take the leather. We won't take the mannequin arm. Still a bit weird. We'll take the bit of food. I want the nail. The nails are really, really useful. Um, what can we get rid of instead of, you know, to, to take this nail? We need the nail. It's very important. Uh, oh, no. We've got, I've got so many useful things. I don't want to get rid of anything. It might come back to getting rid of the magnesium again. But I feel that's going to be important later on. I feel that's going to be a very important thing for us to sort of uh, keep our hands on. So we can use it later for the more fancy crafting things. Um, a spring... A spring is possibly less useful. I don't know what do we get rid of. Uh, yeah, spring. Spring for a nail. Absolutely. We'll take a bit of wood as well. Okay. Yep. Confirm that. I don't feel happy leaving behind our spring. But okie dokie, that will have to do. And then, um, yeah, Stephen and Betty are ready to go out. So let's go and set up an expedition. So Betty, yes, absolutely. And uh, Steve. Hi, Steve. Um, yeah. You can both go out. Now, where should we send you to? Do you just want to go straight down? Maybe go to there and then to that scrapyard. Oh, but you've not got much carry capacity. You're not going to be able to carry very many things because you don't have the fancy bags. Maybe. Maybe we just send you out. They're doing that trip over there, aren't they? That's where they are. Um, maybe we can just send you out just to go over here and pick up some simple things. There's wood and metal and stuff over there and rope and nails. I mean, maybe we could just send you out to there. Maybe via that farm, possibly. Uh, yeah, that might be quite handy. I suppose there is, yeah, there's leather and stuff in there. So how about we go there and then you go over there. Just a quick trip. Just a quick little trip out just to pick up some stuff. You might as well stop off at that house on the way back. There might be some useful stuff. Um, yeah, okay, do that. Uh, right, okay, what can we arm you with? We can arm you with a pipe, I think. Equip that. Equip a mask. Equip a bag so you can carry a little bit more stuff. Um, they will not have the lockpick set. Okay, never mind. It's fine. They'll have to deal with that. And uh, Stephen, you can have... You can have a pipe as well. You can have a good old pipe. And you can have a mask. And I think that's it. Okay, fine. Yeah, absolutely. Send them out. Go and have a little explore around the place. And that just leaves poor T. Just T on her own in the shelter. I don't know if this is a wise thing to do or not. Leaving a child in charge of this entire shelter. I'm not entirely sure. But do you know what, T? You can keep yourself busy. Many things need repairing. So, uh, uh, yeah, the shower. 
the shower and the stove. Let's start with those, shall we, T? Lucky you. Go and do lots of fixing of things. Okay, T, whilst nothing much is going on right now, you go up here and broadcast for traders. Yeah, let's broadcast for traders. They might have some plastic available for us to buy off them. And I think we've got both people saying, yes, we found some stuff. So they're at the small farm. So this is Bernard and Cake. They're at the farm. We found four hinges using the lockpick set. They're really, really useful. Fertilizer could be useful. Right, the gas mask, yes. We'll take the fuel can, yes. Nylon, that's going to be really handy. As is a switch, as is a hinge. We might need to get rid of some useful stuff. Um, okay, okay, I don't really want to get rid of anything. Uh, okay, Joe, you know what? Let's get rid of, let's get rid of, uh, how many of those have we got? We've got 10 circuit breakers. So we'll put that over here and we'll pick ourselves up um, we've got 11 hinges, but they're in quite a lot of things. So we'll pick up four more hinges, and then I wouldn't mind the um, I wouldn't mind the switch and the nylon as well. We don't have much nylon, and we need an extra bit on top of this one here so we can make ourselves a new kind of satchel thing to carry more stuff on our expeditions. Um, I don't want to get rid of the wiring. Oh, there's I don't want to get rid of anything. <laughs> um, okay, I mean we're finding quite a lot of gas masks. So we don't necessarily need the rubber to make our own gas masks because we keep coming across them. So, okay, we'll do that and we'll pick up the nylon and then we need to get ourselves a switch. Now the paint is going to be quite useful because we can paint our base, but it's it's not really relevant. It's just a nice thing to have. So as much as it pains me to do so, let's do that. Let's get rid of our paint. We could have had lovely, lovely wall colorings, but okay, never mind. And, um, and yeah, we'll pick up... We'll pick up uh, that thing there. We'll pick up the switch, which does seem a bit strange. Again, the kind of the balance of things. We just got rid of five paint cans, which are going to be, you know, quite heavy, cumbersome things to pick up one very small electrical switch. The trade-off in kind of, you know, mass doesn't seem quite right. But okay, that will do the job. Is that the right thing to do? I think it is. I think that is about right. I mean, yeah, wood is always useful anyway. We want to take pipes with us. Soap is really good for trading. We can have loads of soap. We have so much soap and we're taking that magnesium back because we keep sort of passing it over and I'm going to come to regret that at some point. So it'll be useful to have a little bit in storage. Uh, yeah, go on then. Go on. With a heavy heart, we shall get rid of this rubber and that paint. Yeah, absolutely. We're done transferring items. And Betty and Stephen are at a small farm. So what have they found? Now, yeah, their carry capacity is significantly less. Um, wool, useful food. Yes, fuel, always good. Uh, switch, valve. Absolutely. We'll have a valve. We'll have two lots of plastic. That's very good. And we'll have a bit of duct tape. Woo! And a scrap pile. And that is in... Uh, yeah, unfortunately, it's in a lockbox. They have not got the... Um, they've not got the lockpick set, but never mind. We'll take a motor and we'll take three bits of water. There we go. Do you know what? We'll take everything for now, actually, thinking about it. Then we'll just drop it off at the next location. They're not going to too many places anyway. So, yeah, confirm that. Absolutely. On to the next... Ah, now there are some people coming by. Also, Cake and Bernard are coming back home. Now, how is that going to work? Are they going to meet each other in the lobby area here and kind of go, hi, how are you guys? Yeah, we live here. You're not coming in. I imagine they're going to buzz on the intercom momentarily. But yeah, our two sort of player characters are going to come in. Okay, right. Who is here? Francis. Hello. Just had a close call with a group of mutants. I can't run quickly with all the stuff. Yeah, okay. So this is because we're broadcasting for traders. Yes, please. What do you have? Now, people have told me to trade water. So, okay, we'll go for that. So, nylon useful, duct tape useful. That's useful. Um, what's that? Rifle ammo. It sounds like something that I think we should take. But it's quite expensive. Um, they've got nine lots of rubber. Oh, that's wonderful. That would offset the rubber that we just didn't take from the other place. Okay, so 43. And we've got one slot left as well. Do we want to take some first aid kits? Do we want to take some wood? They've got quite a lot of wood. And wood is used to build many, many things. Um, how much wood have we got back here? We have not got that much. Now, of course, they've, they've bought some wood back. So I think we can do without the battery. I might come to regret that later. And a fuse. We've got four batteries, two fuses... Um, not so bothered about the rifle ammo right now. We've got loads of hinges coming back with us. So we don't need those quite so much. I mean, we could stock up on some wood. There we go. So we'll buy all of the wood. And then what shall we get? Let's get ourselves... Let's get ourselves three fuses. I feel like in the future they might be quite useful things. So 57. So we can give you quite a bit of water for that. Because hopefully it will rain at some point. Um, and is there anything else? Anything else really rubbishy? I mean, what do I have to, can we just give them the rest in water? 
Just go like that. 56. Have we got anything that's worth one? I bet we haven't got anything that's worth one, have we? <laughs> nothing. Nothing at all. That's four. They're all four. Um, an old can. Just give you that look. There you go. Saves us a bit of water. And eventually, yeah, we've got enough stuff to turn into plastic anyway. So, yeah, okay. That's that's a good trade. Thank you. I think that's good. Uh, yeah, I'm happy with that. Absolutely. Yes, I'm happy with that trade. Well done, T, because you've negotiated that trade. That's wonderful. And then in come our wandering folks. In comes Bernard, who is hoping to drop the stuff off. Is that you back out of the lumberyard? All right, yeah, they found their way to a lumberyard. Okay. Uh, metal. Yes, please. Nails. Absolutely. Right, now we're into things where, okay, get rid of that and get rid of the matches. We'll take a load of wood, because wood is always used for building everything. Uh, and we'll take some rope. That's useful. A hatchet is quite good, because they do have accuracy plus five with a hatchet. Let's get rid of the scrap pile and take that. And that will do. Leave behind yeah, some burnt clothes. Oh, paint can. The, the walls. We could have had proper nicely painted walls. Um, Yeah, that'll do. Confirm that. Yes, please. And uh, yeah, in you come. There we go. And now we can store all of the stuff. Perception has gone up on cake, which is lovely. And yeah, take all. Take all of the stuff. There is so much stuff. Yes, we're done transferring items, and cake has increased their perception, which is lovely. And they're all going to run over and get food and drink and what have you. There we go. Bernard's going for some tins. Cake's going for a bit of meat. Okay, splendid, splendid, splendid. They can get on with that. Uh, and yeah, I think the others aren't. Their journey isn't too long. The others' journey is not too long, is it? They're already yeah. They've stopped off there, so they're already on the way back. Really, they're heading toward that house, and then they will be home too. Marvelous. And Bernard and Cake are going for a rest, I believe. Oh, no, no. Cake's, Cake's going to have a shower. Cake's nipping in the shower before he gets into the bed. That's absolutely fine. That's a good idea. There we go. Um, right, okay. Now, can we go with tea? Can we go and craft items now? How near are we to doing this thing now? Hang on. Tier two. I'm determined to get this in. We need some more plastic, some more pipes, and some more valves. One day, we will be able to build the recycler, and we'll be able to recycle so many wonderful things. But we can make ourselves a rucksack now okay that's good that means that the you know two parties can go out and they can have themselves extra carrying capacity okay that's a good thing uh we'll let we'll let t finish doing her broadcasting stuff for now she can finish off that kind of stuff so uh yeah okay right move time on nice and quick radio transmission uh house yep yeah, go and find out what's in the house please Okay, there is some all right stuff in here. So metal, yes, please. Wood, yes, please. Nails, yes, please. Glass would be useful. A book would be useful. And soap, again, would be useful. Though the others have just brought back absolutely loads of soap. So, uh, so yeah, okay, that's fine. That's a good thing. And I think they will then head home. I don't think they're going to stick around too much around, you know, in the waste or whatever. So, um, yeah, there you go. Come home, you two. Come home. And here they come. Stephen and Betty have arrived home. They just plod their way through the doorway. We've got black rain again. There's so much of this falling. We've got so much pollutant going on into our sort of water system. Okay, never mind. And their perception's gone up a tiny bit. But yeah, they didn't do much in the way of searching. That's absolutely fine. You've at least got some stuff. And more importantly, you've got nails. Nails and wood and motors and things. So yes, we will take all of that stuff, please. Um, also, oh, our water's at maximum capacity, is it? We can't store any more water. No botherations. Okay, never mind. Right, we've got three water that we can just put in the bin. So now as well as we've got... Is, have we still got bin meat? Yeah, that's been there a long time. We've got bin meat and now bin water. <laughs> it's a positive bin feast over there. A few people in the comments did point out that with extra people in our bunker, we might struggle to keep our oxygen levels up. So there is an upgrade we can do to the oxygen filter, which does this. So yeah, it creates more oxygen. However, it says there that allows you to support up to six people in the shelter at once. And we don't need to worry about that too much right now because we have five people in here at the moment and we're going to send two pretty much straight back out. I think, um, where are we? Bernard could just do, I mean, he's, yeah, he's almost sort of sorted out his tiredness. So Bernard could do with a shower when he's uh, sort of had his little nap. Bernard is then ready to go out again. And then maybe, who else do we send? I mean, cake. Kate just needs to eat something, and then they're ready to go back out again. So let's do that, shall we? Oh, hello. So many lives lost, and for what? I couldn't save them. My family is gone, and it's all your fault. It's not my fault, whoever you were. Nothing to do with me, I'm afraid. Um, okay, can we send somebody outside to fix some things? 
because uh, because we do need to start repairing those. So Betty, get your um get your hazmat suit on. We need to do a spot of repairing of things. So fix that and fix that, please. Um, and then uh, yeah, Bernard just needs a shower. So Bernard, pop down and have a shower, and then we'll get cake to go and eat something. Uh, have a bit of meat. That'll do. You go and do that. So there we go. So you go up there. You come down here. Right. So they're all doing some stuff. Water storage is at max, even though it's horribly polluted, which is all very unpleasant. Um, and then Stephen. Stephen, why don't you go and have uh, fix the bed and then sleep in the bed, Steve? You go and do that, please. And then, yeah, we'll send Bernard and Cake back out. And I want to send them toward that, um, that little uh, sort of uh, junkyard thing that we found, because that could be really, really handy indeed. So there we go. So you've done that. However, actually, where are you? Cake. Cake, cake, cake. Come down here. How about you craft another rucksack? Craft another one of those. So it will use up all the nylon that we've got. And it will use up all the leather that we've got. But then that means that the pair of you can have those carry bag things. Which means our capacity for bringing stuff back from our expedition will be up absolutely loads. Which is wonderful. Uh, Betty. Betty, Betty, Betty. Return your suit, please. And you are in need of a bit of a sleep, Betty. So why not... Just go and hang on, fix the thing, fix the sleeping bag first, and then have a sleep in it. So yeah, repair the sleeping bag, you know, with a hammer, because that's how it works. And then have a little sleep in your freshly hammered sleeping bag. And there we go. So I think Bernard, uh, yeah, Bernard could do, did I tell Bernard to go and eat something? I thought I did. So cake is ready, and Bernard just possibly needs, maybe Bernard does need the loo. Bernard needs the loo, maybe Bernard, Bernard doesn't need any food. Bernard doesn't need food. He's okay. He will... Although he's going on a long trip. Okay, Bernard, when you've done that, go and eat some food, which won't take too long. It's all fine. And then we'll send you two out to that junkyard. So there we go. Bernard's stats are looking pretty good. Cake's stats are looking pretty good. So let's send them both back out again. So set up a new expedition. We will have Bernard. We will have Cake. They can both go out. And yeah, we want to come down here. Maybe come around this way, possibly. In fact, I do just want to go straight through the middle here hardware store oh that's going to be really really super useful okay right go to can you just cut a straight line there no you cannot unfortunately okay so i don't want you to go to too many places so go to the farm that's fine that needs a bit of water but yeah it's raining right now so this is quite good then pop over to there then come down to here and then come back up that way okay or can we then get you to come back you're going to go to a scrapyard though i don't want you to sort of you know, not be able to pick up so much stuff but can we do that so you're going to come down here you're going to walk down go to the little farm just see what there is then come down through here there's a small house there's a pharmacy there is a hardware store which is going to be really really important in fact you know what do you know what just to make sure they actually get to that hardware store actually click on it pretty much then go to the scrapyard and then come back this way past those two unknown things it's quite a trek so yeah okay confirm that and right, you can take with you a hatchet, Bernard. So we'll equip, no, 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 no. Equip that there. And you can have the lock pick set. You can have that thing and you can have a bag. Okay, that's that's great. Look at that. We've almost filled up your sort of you know, carry slot things. Uh, okay, so Bernard sorted. And cake, you can have one of those. You can have a proper sort of rucksack backpack thing. And in terms of weapon, I mean, yeah, you get plus five accuracy with a hatchet as well. We'll just equip you both with hatchets. I'm sure it'll all be fine. What could possibly go wrong? Um, and again, I don't think we'll take anything with us. I think we'll leave the inventory empty so when we can just find everything we can and just try and bring as much stuff back. So yeah, absolutely. Off you pop. Yeah, so our water is depleted quite a lot, but it's raining, so it will slowly top itself back up, which is splendid. Okay, so Stephen does need the loo a bit and he does need to have a bit of a wash. So whilst it's raining, we will get him to do both of those things. So these are going to use up water. But then, yes, of course, if it's raining, it will top it straight back up. So that's wonderful. So we'll get him to do those things. And then when he's done that, maybe we'll get him to just go and chill out and read a book over there. Maybe that's what we'll get him to do. Um, he's got no trauma and he's got no stress. I think his loyalty is kind of maxed out with us now. I think he is now loyal to the Cupboard family. I don't think he's got any sort of problems with us anymore. Because it did say loyalty, but now it's changed to trauma, which is what all of our other family members have. So I assume he's now integrated himself so well that he now doesn't need to prove himself anymore. And he, you know, he's just sort of now, he's one of us. He's one of our buddies. So, okay, when you've done that, you go and read a book over there. And is this person coming in? 
Are they coming in? Farm, yep, go and look in the farm. Are you popping by, incredibly slowly walking person? Or are you, yeah, you're coming in. You're coming in. Okay, Betty, um, you, oh, you also need a shower, but Chappie's in there, I mean, Steve's in there. Okay, right, you go and take a shower. And T, T needs to go to bed. Uh, okay, right, uh, fix the bed and then go to sleep in it. And we will answer the intercom. Hello. Um, right, trade. Yes, absolutely. Um, we will take some magnesium because that's fun. And we'll take a circuit breaker and we'll take loads of fuses because why not? And we'll take loads of circuit boards because eventually they will come in useful. And we'll give you a big pile of water for these because it's raining and it will top it back up. In fact, no, we don't need that much water. We'd, I'll give them, I gave you way too much stuff. <laughs> up to 55. There we go. That will do. So we'll give you 14 bottles of water and you give us some magnesium, a kind of circuit breaker switch thing, some fuses and some circuit boards. Splendid. Yeah, absolutely. Pleasure doing business with you. Cheerio. And they are at the small farm. Uh, yeah, all of it. Mask, water, fertilizer, that. Uh, what's that? Bit of wood. A bit of burnt clothing, a TV, a switch, some rubber and the paint cans. They're the ones, are they the ones we left behind? They're the things we left behind. We've just gone to pick them back up. Oh, that's wonderful. Oh, okay, that's good news. <laughs> that's brilliant. Okay, so now the small farm has nothing in it at all. So, okay, we'll take those things. Hang on, if we go to view map now, it still does have discoverable items. Okay, right, that's fine. And, uh, yeah, Stephen's having a read of a book. Betty's in the shower. T is having a little sleep. And the person who we did trading with, Marcus, is now clearing off. And Black Rain again! Oh my goodness me, there's so much of this stuff. There is somebody in the distance. Okay, be wary, Bernard, be wary. They might be a bit fighty. They have amazing hair. You out here on your own, says Cake. Um, we will be Bernard, thank you. Sorry, Cake. Not that I don't trust you, but you know, Bernard Bernard is, uh, is, is leading this particular group. So, Cynthia. Hi, Cynthia. Oh, okay. Uh, we've got nothing. This is unfortunate. Oh, no, we have got stuff to trade, actually. Yeah, would you like to do some trading? Got anything you want to sell or need? You're a smart one. Not as smart as me, obviously. But I can tell you know that. It's what I like about you. Oh, Cynthia, you flirt. Uh, we will take a bit of fuel. And we'll take that. We'll take all those three things. 19. Well, we'll give you two lots of water. So that's fine. So now we just need to trade 11 worth of stuff. Uh, you can have some coal. Uh, you can have a mannequin head. You can have some burnt clothes. <laughs> Aren't you the lucky one? And you can have some cement. There we go. That is absolutely perfect we don't need any of those things we will trade them for useful things yes please the truth is that you've just done me dry i've given you some stuff how rude but better keep the wheels turning slowly than not at all isn't just that the right thing cynthia there we go and charisma goes up a tiny bit there we go right so a fairly successful trade quite happy with that one do we need somebody to get up on the surface and start repairing those things no no we don't right how's steve gonna get on with his book you got 15 xp did you get anything else steve Got 99 XP in, is that intelligence? You got 86 XP in perception. Oh, that was pretty good. That was actually pretty good, Steve. That was not a bad thing to do at all. Uh, right, and whilst you're here, Steve, and nothing else is going on, why don't we get you just popping outside and you can go and fix the two filtery things. And what have they found? A ah, small house. Absolutely. Go and have a nosy round that. Okay, what is in the small house? Some more gas masks, which is brilliant, and some food as well. That is wonderful. Right, we'll take the food, we'll take the soap, we'll take the gas masks. There's a variety of rubbishy broken televisions. We'll take them for now. We'll take them for the moment. I'm sure it's fine. Um, a toy. We'll take all the things. We'll take everything. Our carry capacity is quite vast right now. In fact, is that the most we can carry? Because it's not got any sort of locked slots. So I think two people with a kind of backpack, sort of satchel thing each, that's the maximum you can carry around on an expedition for two people. That's wonderful. Oh, okay, there we go. That's pretty good. We've come back with three gas masks already, so we don't need to craft our own. So we can save the rubber and stuff for other things. We've got some more plastic going on. Yeah, okay. Confirm that. Absolutely. And our expedition party have found a person in the florists. Okay, let's see what's going on here then. Now, are they going to be nice? Isn't there always someone around here? There's some people quite frequently around this place. Uh, but who's that? Who's there? Uh, it is I, Bernard Cupboard of the little shelter not too far away from here. Hello there. Hi, that would be me. You need a hand in all this. I can do that. But think fast because I'm not hanging around. Ah, so Rebecca. We could recruit Rebecca. We don't know how good Rebecca is. She might be utterly terrible. That's our only concern with this. 
Is she good or is she bad? Do you know what? We need another person anyway. So we can send two people out in one party, two people out in another, and have two people back at base. That makes perfect sense. We might need to upgrade our uh, oxygen filter thing a little bit just to make sure that we don't start, you know, depriving ourselves of, you know, good old air there. Um, yeah, go on then. Okay, you're okay. The group will welcome you back at the shelter. Head over there now. So there's Rebecca. Oh, this is wonderful. Yeah, okay. So she's got six charisma. That's quite good. Um, three intelligence, three dexterity, only two strength. Okay. That's fine. Awesome. I look forward to meeting them. I'll go introduce myself. Please don't kill them all while they sleep. Absolutely. So Bernard's intelligence has popped up to five, which is wonderful. And we have Rebecca. Okay, so she will turn up at some point soon. I'd like to think that, yeah, Bernard does radio over and say, uh, oh, by the way, someone new is going to join. I mean, I didn't consult you lot. I didn't consult you at all. I've just decided that Rebecca can join us. <laughs> so there we go. So she will come in and at the florist, what is there? Um... We'll take the water. We'll take that. Oh, we'll just take all of it. We'll just take all of it and leave stuff behind. We'll just leave stuff behind. Oh, no. There's some more locked things now. Oh, okay. I thought maybe that was the maximum we could carry, but no, it seems to have branched out to some more now. Uh, okay, never mind. Never mind. We've still got lots of carry capacity left. When well, we can get rid of a bucket, we can get rid of a mannequin leg, we can get rid of all those televisions. It's, you know, just we might as well take it with us until we find something better. So, yeah, confirm that. And here she comes. Everybody, this is Rebecca. Just like you did with Steve, everybody say hi to Rebecca. There she is. Now, what does she look like she needs to do? She needs to go to the loo. Okay, right. First things first, Rebecca, you can fix the toilet and then you can go and use it. And yes, 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 a small pharmacy. Go and have a look in there, please. Okay, you know when I said everybody should go and say hi to Rebecca? Don't do it right now because she's currently on the toilet. Maybe wait a bit until she's out. There we go. Right, so now she's out. Now we can go and talk to Rebecca. So hi. And what's at the pharmacy? So much good stuff. Okay, we'll have that. We'll have a bit of rope. We'll have wood. We will take the antibiotics. Not so bothered about adrenaline. Another TV. Do we really want to take another TV? Okay, do you know what? <laughs> Why the heck not? And another bucket as well because that might be useful. And we've still got two slots left. Uh, yeah, okay, confirm that. Thank you very much. Uh, okay, right, so uh, what's Rebecca doing? She's getting a drink. Hopefully the water's not too horribly polluted, but okay. And a hardware store. This is what I wanted to get to. I wanted to get to the hardware store because this could be very important. Right, uh, Rebecca, it's a bit of a rite of passage that when you join, you have to get them up and bucket and clean the shelter. It's just a thing we do to all the new recruits. It's absolutely fine. Don't you worry. So there you go. You do that. And um, and yeah, everyone else is just sort of able to just sort of chill out and relax a little bit. Um, T, you're not doing anything else. Why not go and play with the toy? And yeah, let's see what is in this store. Okay, bit disappointed. That's not exactly what I was hoping for. Okay, never mind. Uh, right, take the food. Yes, please. We will take the metal. We'll take a pipe. Ah, right. Okay, we're full of stuff. Right, don't care about the mannequin legs. Not so fussed about that uh, oh, bit of water. Hang on, let's get rid of those things. Limestone and such like. Then we can take the pipe. Then we can take the duct tape. That's always useful. Electric wiring. That's always quite handy. Um, rubber. I think we're already carrying some of that anyway. Not bothered about the radio. Coal, not bothered. Lens, not first. Those things, not bothered. Oh, paint. Uh, oh, no, we, we need some more space to store some more paint. Okay, that's fine. That's okay. I'm, I'm quite happy with that. That will do the job. That's a bit disappointing. I thought that might have loads of nails in it, given that it's a hardware store. Metal and nails is what I was kind of expecting from there. But, uh, but okay, there you go. It is what it is. We've got those things. That will have to do. And do you know what? I think what we'll do is we'll finish up for the moment. We'll finish up for now. Now, I know that if we look here, they're not too far away now from going down to the small scrapyard. That could be really, really useful indeed. We might be making many trips to that. But then, of course, we've got these two unknown. Oh, no, hang on. That one's not unknown anymore. That's a small house. They must have been able to get sight of it as they were walking through. So we have one unknown location there and then a house as well. So the houses have random things in it, don't they? You know, whatever people's lives, whatever they stored before the apocalypse happened and they presumably died or moved out or whatever. So yeah, we don't know what's going to be in that house and we don't know what's going to be at that location. The small scrapyard is going to be very, very interesting though because that could have some really good stuff in it. So fingers crossed it's better than that slightly rubbishy hardware store. I mean, look at that. Discoverable items, you know, the hammers, metal, screwdrivers, drills, chisels, nail guns, sanders, ratchets. What did we find? None of those things at all. 
<laughs> we found some wiring. We found some wiring and stuff. So that, yeah, that was a bit disappointing. We might need to go back this way again because that hardware store is pretty good. So um, yeah, okay, there we go. So with yeah, we've got a new member as well with Rebecca now joining us. The oxygen is holding for now. I think if we added another person and they're all in here, so if there were seven people, the oxygen would start coming down. So we want to make sure that people are generally, yeah, at least one sort of pairing of people are out and about in the waste. So uh, there you go. We've got Rebecca. Anyway. So welcome, Rebecca. So now we need to make sure that Rebecca is now loyal to us and that she trusts us and stuff. She is a bit stressed, is Rebecca. And it probably doesn't help that we've just told her to mop the place up. But there we go. So we'll try and make sure that Rebecca's less stressed and she's a bit more loyal to us and all that kind of stuff. And um, yeah, we'll just keep on keeping on. We'll just sort of keep on scavenging stuff. And one day we might have enough stuff to build ourselves that recycling thing. But uh, but yeah, until that day, we'll just have to keep trying. Uh, also next time, what we might do is we might rejig the... Um, the shelter around a bit. A few people in the comments have said, can you please reorganize the shelter? And I believe you can just go and reorganize all the bits and you can just click what you want and drag them around and move stuff about the place. So uh, so yeah, we'll do that next time as well. And I think it looks like they are going to arrive at the um, scrapyard. So yes, that's quite exciting. So we'll deal with that next time out. So that's very good. So yeah, we'll see what good stuff is in there, hopefully. But yeah, of course, that's all for next time. Hopefully you are still enjoying this. If you are, please do leave a like. That would be most marvellous indeed. And also, if you're not already, then please do subscribe to keep up to date with how we get on next time out here in Sheltered. But for now, thank you very much for joining me in the Geek Cupboard. And I will see you next time. Oh no, not the piggy wigs. Want them to be healthy. Happy pigs, please. Raspberries, raspberries, raspberries everywhere. I went through and sold a load of turkeys as well. And they still come back. They're still coming back to haunt me. The storm moisture's going down. We need rain. We need rain. What's going... <laughs>